and now we have Chris and Steve with us from Infiller, brand Welcome. new kind of business that you're a startup. So being on the Perth Giants today, how do you feel? A little bit nervous. Yeah, a little bit intimidated. It's yeah. very common here, but the excitement I'm sure is pushing you guys forward. Yep. What are you going in and pitching today? Uh, we're pitching our business in Filler, yes. uh, which is a platform for property owners to register their interest mm -hmm. in becoming uh, super lots to sell to developers directly. Awesome. And what do you seek in? What do you need these giants for? Uh, yeah, I guess we're looking for you know, some money, ideally, like $180,000, $200,000 mm -hmm. for some equity, or even better for us would be like a partnership with access to customers, uh, existing customers and databases. So um, we're pretty much. Some focused. guidance as well. Yeah, pretty much. Great. Yeah. Okay. Gentlemen, we wish you the best. Jump on inside. Good luck. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you for having us this afternoon. Uh, I'm Chris and this is Steve. Um, we are based out of Como in Perth um, and we are the co-founders of Infiller. Um, and today we're looking to get uh, $180,000 for a 20% equity stake um, or ultimately, or even better, a business partner who we can acquire some uh, additional data um, and work together with. So modern cities uh, need to increase density through infill development um, to grow sustainably in the future. High density development is difficult to achieve based on fragmented property ownership and small lot sizes. Now the infiller platform brings together property owners to create valuable urban infill opportunities through the creation of super lots. This reduces the holding costs and acquisition costs for developers and also helps sellers to achieve a premium over market value. Infiller does this uh, through a three-step process. Uh, what we do is we acquire customers and registrations through targeting specific zone areas and areas of growth. Uh, property owners register through our platform. Our platform, which is a GIS-based mapping tool, then analyzes these and categorizes them into three uh, scales of development potential, so high potential, sort of marginal development potential, and then the residual sign-ups that are there. Uh, from there to generate revenue and sales, uh, the step we take is effectively charging a development management fee for direct sales of those high value ones where properties are adjacent to each other we can sell. Uh, the, the marginal and residual ones are sold on a subscription basis to developers and then the remainder are available through selling a single one-off property development report to like a real estate agent if you're selling a property. So uh, just do a transaction every time to see if there's low low uh, density development potential when you're selling a block. Uh, so that's how we're sort of targeting the problem of infill and how to attract more sustainable infill development in metro cities. Sounds like a good idea. What do the councils think of it? It's challenging. Uh, I think the, the councils are struggling for infill. They need it, um, particularly through directions 2031 and Perth. Uh, but there are some ethical concerns around them partnering with us uh, with private industry. So it's mixed. They like it, but we haven't partnered yet. I think the big problem with the councils is they've got constituents or householders who are, you know, like uh, the city beach people don't want a, a developer or an infill uh, thing. And it sounds like yours is going to be pretty efficient, so there'll be more houses than uh, than they'd normally get in that infill block. So sure, okay. Yeah, I, th I think you know the nimbyism is a problem for all development, but uh, yeah, it's it's a problem we'll have to come up against for sure. So so you you're finding sites putting them together often developers fight for those yep. sort of sites and they'll be pretty keen to find them. Have you thought about going down the development line yourself? We have. Uh, right like right now, probably for us, we want to acquire as much data as we can and expand in that space, but certainly we both have a background in construction and engineering and uh, maybe not currently in this market, but as things move on, it's definitely, there's big margins available in the right market, and, yeah, for sure. If not directly ourselves, at least partnering with a developer for more of a JV type approach. Yes.